What is going on? My Reefing fan, March here. This is Fragbox TV. And today we're gonna go check out Patrick, my friend who happens to be one of our wholesalers. And you guys are gonna come on a shopping adventure. I know you guys like these kind of videos. Okay, let's not bother us again. Oh, are you? Hello. This is our derpy puffer. Look, his face is sideways. Hello, derpy. It's on. It's on like a thirty oh, degree. Oh yeah. He's you see it? Derp. He's extra He's derp. He's a little bit derp. The world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. Inside here is fifteen thousand square feet of coral fish invertebrate heaven. Not open to the public, sorry. Oh, not open at all actually. Please, look at this, this is all missing. This is usually full of tanks. Oh, if you didn't see the video I'll post in the description, Patrick had a little fire here in the shop. You can see just the remnants of some smoke. It was from a UV sterilizer. Wow, all of this gone. Jeez, it was like this, but actually bigger. Let's go see if we can find Patrick. They say he's in the back. You guys know him. We went to Indonesia together and Japan and a lot of other places. Where is he? Ah, we found him. He's hiding. Check this out. Let's start with one of the coolest things here. Oh my god. Look at this mantis. Twins, Nigel. Oh, are you going to feed it? What are we giving him? We got some little fishy bits. Fishy bits. Is he going to eat it? Eat it. It's already been fed once today. Eat I'm it. not quite brave enough to go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Get the tongs. Are your fingers covered under insurance? Uh, I hope so. Scary. This is scary. What a cool animal. Punching kind or the spearing the kind? Spear type. So oh, right in here, shit. this is their big spear. Son of a spear. Oh. Okay. Let's not bother. Okay. What's the deal with peppermints? How come sometimes you have one billion? And sometimes you have 0, 0.0. Well, we only have 850 today. Normally we have 2,500 to 3,500. But these have been out of stock for oh, a yeah. long time. Yeah, yeah, months, months and months. They're, they're, they've been in short supply this year everywhere with our divers. And I think they're only really coming out of Tampa. I think that they generally come as bycatch from the crab boats. And I, my understanding is they're not pulling them out with the crab boats anymore. That's why. If you ever wondered why we have them sometimes and sometimes we don't. But they're here now, so if you're looking for crazy aptasia control, that's what you need. One light isn't working. Look at this. Some new sort of macroalgae. This one's Mexicana. Mexicana. Esto macroalgae habla español. Hola. Oh, that's funky. What Ooh, is that? It's like a red, red grape. grape. Oh, give me some of that. Yeah, that's cool, Absolutely. Eh? Yeah, we're always on the hunt for new macroalgaes. Um, Patrick gets in a lot of weird shit. Yeah, this, so we got a bunch of weird stuff over here. Weird shit. Yeah, this is the Most mangrove tank. Check this out. Well, they're all underground right now. There's a bunch of fiddler crabs in here. Oh, I'm gonna take him. These are exceptionally rare, and they're really cool. And he's coming home with me. He's giving me a really cool idea. I'm gonna redo one of the tanks in the shop, and I'm gonna do it like this. I think with sand mm -hmm. halfway up. Tonga nasarius. So cool. Yeah, look at the size of these nasarius snails. Babylonias. Very good at mixing the sand, keeping it clean. This is a really cool tank actually, very unusual. These are, these are some black mangroves and so they'll be cleaning up the tank as we go. And Beautiful size. Right, hopefully they'll stay nice and short. You put some prolifera in here and let that spread. This is an exceptionally rare glass anemone. They sell for thousands of dollars. <laughs> nah, it's Aptasia. We should get some of those peppermints in here. Well, this is to feed our bergias. Oh, look at all perfect. The little, look at all the little pods swimming around next to the sea hare. Hello. Oh, look at the sea hare. Great algae eater. If you're looking for something to eat hair algae, the cows of the sea. Mm. One of the cool things about these inverts, and some of them that we stock, a lot of them that we stock, they have, we stock them for a purpose. So bumblebee snails are known to eat vermited snails. Vermited snails. Yeah, yeah, that's the main reason. Other than looking really cool, like the shell is so neat, and they look like these little cute bumblebees, but almost everything eats something else. So a lot of these cleanup crew or, clean, or reef janitors that we stock, they serve a purpose. Some of them are just for fun. I would say like, uh, that's, I'm taking one home. Is uh, that no, a, this that's is, not this a squat. Is, this is... What the fudge is that? Yeah. What are we looking at? Rawr. Oh my God, what are you? <laughs> I've never seen this. Is that it's real? very pretty. Yeah, Take him out. He's definitely, just for a second. He's definitely, I don't he's gonna, he's gonna what thrash his tail. What the hell is it? I've eaten these guys before. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? 
a type of lobster. Oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. I'm not taking it. I thought that was the little squat lobster. No, no, no. Okay, so this serves no purpose. <laughs> this is just, this is just cool. This is a cool item. Pick it up real quick. Uh, oh, well, I'm not exactly gonna grab a fire urchin. Use your hands. Yeah, it's okay once be, they're loose. Be cool, man. Oh, my fingers are tingling. Just. I, I had a lettuce nudie brank oh. once. I put it in the tank and it like flew right into How the fire urchin. Hurt? Well, you have to hit the inner spines. The inner spines are the ones that hurt more, but it's not that bad. It's kind of like a bee sting. Mm, Check this out. I, anytime I come here, I always try and pick the smallest ones because a lot of our customers have small tanks, but it's hard to find small urchins. So I'll go through them and hand pick these. These are going to come back with me. They're on sale on the site right now. They're 30% off. Uh, these are tuxedo urchins. This one's kind of cool because it's a red. Again, very powerful algae eater. Very important part of your cleanup crew and exceptionally cute. Doesn't have too many corals and we'll go look at the other side. I'm going to just show you a couple more of the inverts before we move on. But emerald crabs, lots of emeralds. They, they get their color because they eat green algae. Very good cleanup crew member. Are you? Who is this? Who are you? We have so many cool anglers and I keep oh, trying to convince you to man. take them. Look at this one over here. This okay, really if cool anyone's too. watching this and you live in Canada and you want an angler. So he's coming up to eat from my fingers because we've been feeding him with our hands oh, so much. man, he's so beautiful. Right? Is he going to bite your finger? No, but he wants he wants fish. Is this like a, like a frogfish? Yeah, it's like a frogfish. Same thing. It's beautiful. Beautiful black and beautiful orange spots. Say beautiful again. Beautiful. He is beautiful. He's beautiful. amazing. Incredible. Got some empty tanks. Cleaning? Yeah, just cleaning. Summer cleaning. This is the time Summer to do regular it. regular maintenance. No friggin' way. Are you gonna sell me some of this Halimeda? Well, I gotta get it to grow more, otherwise you will buy all of this in the first week. You're right, I will. <laughs> Bumblebee shrimp. These are very cool. Do these serve a purpose other than looking really cool? Uh, I believe they eat the tentacles off... Uh, torch corals. No, not torch <laughs> corals. Urchins. Oh man, they're so cute. So do they serve a purpose? Uh, not really. Ooh. Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone. He jumped. Donald Duck shrimp. This would be something I think that is just funky. This is just cool. Just cool to have. Look at yeah, that. Just weird. The beak. That's where he gets his name. Quack. If you guys see anything in this video and you want it, you can just request. Patrick is only a 10 minute drive from us. I try and come out here as often as I can um, to pick stuff up, but there's so much more here than we stock. So if you see anything in the video and you want it and you're in Canada, we're more than happy to bring it in for you and ship it like this little Arrow crab. Hi, buddy. Pat says there's stingrays in here, but I don't see them. Where? Where? You gotta get a handful of Oh, shrimps. down here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And then the, the, the rays will eat out of your hands. What are those the ones called? Won't. Blue dots? See, look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a cool animal. Right, this guy we've had the longest, so he eats from your hand. How about that shark over there? These are little, I believe these are gray sharks, and they're from Sri Lanka, and they actually stay the smallest of all the uh, cat sharks. Beautiful. Hermits, four days. He's got to have, I don't know, 5,000. How many hermits would you estimate you have in stock at any time? Hermit crabs? How many thousand? Um, this week we're probably lower. We probably have five or 6,000. I don't oh, know. A lot of Hermes. A lot of Hermes. If you want something to eat the detritus in your tank, they're really cool. They live in the rock or Th sand. These actually are scavengers. So we have them in here so that when we feed everybody in the jars heavily and then we clean the jars out and all the food falls below the rack, they clean up all the leftover food. He doesn't want to come. Sorry, buddy. No, these, are, these are a functional part come, of our cleanup crew. Come, it's just for YouTube. One second, I'll put you back. <laughs> Look, you're famous. This is going to be a medium sort of video. So five to 8,000 reefing nerds are going to see you. You're so, the most famous starfish that ever lived. Okay. It's Patrick. That's Patrick. Okay, this is quiz of the day. Which one, that? Yeah, not the animals, but all the little things attached to the rack. Oh, I don't know if I can zoom in that much. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. If you guys see what's attached to the rack, comment below. This looks like a softy, massive softy grow tank. Every store I think has one of these where you just throw the cabbage, the GSP, the Xenia. Chop, chop things up. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, the leathers. Very nice cabbage. Don't eat it. Oh. Cocoa puffs? Oh, touch them. So we keep all of our uh, bloop, 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 bloop. our liquids in here too. You can see them all. Oh yeah, that's a really nice. That's a show size. 
Yeah, it's a nice big show size. This is another very utilitarian. Is that the word? Utilitarian. Yeah, utilitarian. Yeah. If you absolutely. want to get rid of Astrina starfish, some people believe that they are invasive and they're pests. I've done a couple videos on them where I try and persuade you that they are not. But if you want to, if you have too many in the tank, um, these will absolutely destroy. There's, a, there's a flounder hiding in here too. Oh. If you can find them. Taking home this other duster. Oh, too late. You oh, he closed it. up. It's a purple yellow duster. They look like a cocoa worm, but they're a feather duster. Part of the other reason I like to come, just to see like oddballs and pick stuff out. You know, I'll pick the nicest feather duster, or I'll pick the biggest hermits. Um, what are these snails? Nerites? Oh, come over and check. I haven't seen these. They're inverts in the, these rows and systems here, so if you want to see how he's running it, it looks pretty straightforward. It's a big brute bin, rubber made, a ton of live rock, a very ghetto, rickety, MacGyvered, filter floss, milk carton holder. <laughs> um, patent pending, actually, patent so pending, do not yeah. copy this. Yeah. Patent pending on that. And then we Lots got like a rock. billion feather dusters in there that just explode and grow everywhere. And that's it. Heaters? What's the temperature at? Uh, no, we can, no. well, there is a heater in here, but we control the environment more. So you can see there's an inkbird controller up here. It's, it's just below 80 degrees, but we really have the temperature controlled in here. And then uh, no that skimmer. controls the tank. No skimmer. No right skimmer. Here. Some nice big vector. This, this gets so many water changes just from, from invert shipping out that it the skimmer is uh, short of secondary. Look how simple it is. It's just really a holding tank for floss and some rock. For skimmer on this one, he's using a uh, Nios. Nios Quantum 160. So you figure it's a 160 gallon rated skimmer on probably 800 or 1,000 gallons. So you do off. know how to do it. Yeah. You just decide sometimes we didn't, to... We didn't, we didn't have the height there, so because there wasn't enough height, we had uh -huh. to do the filter floss. We prefer the socks. This is actually quite clever. So look, um, to hold the sock in place to the pipe, he's just using those, um, what do you call these things? So like yeah, peel the, and the stick. the 3M uh, hooks, and then we don't use the That's adhesive it. that comes with it. We just use the Ecotech glue and super glue it onto the pipe. That's so and smart. And it won't work on inch and a half. It has to be on two inch pipe. And then if you want to change it, slide it off. Yep. Slide it back on. Make sure they live before we put them up for sale because mm -hmm. these things often, like, they'll come in and they just slowly waste away. A little blue So we'll, we'll dose them with Fido and uh, see if we can get them to live and multiply before we offer them. Lots and lots of recorded. Oh, this is something I haven't had in a while. You have some to sell? Blue Sympodium. Yeah, we, we should have some more available shortly. They're, they're, we haven't been fragging much this summer. We've been getting caught up on all the maintenance, uh, just from the busy time and kind of... So we haven't fragged a lot of stuff because it starts taking up a lot more space than we do. So then this is where we have a lot of our softies. These are some flowers. amazing... Where did you rock get flowers. these? No, we got forget the rock cherry flowers. corals. This. Those are awesome. These are freaking great. And then we did we did our the the legs underneath. Oh, and then man, that I way they do collect a little so bit bad. there. You should see what we're using. This is way more intelligent. Are these humas? Yeah. Cool. These yeah, are some nice. cool humas. Very funky. Very very funky. We just did a video on Recordia. If you had to sell this yellow tank, what would you sell it for? Um, like I don't know, you don't you don't want to sell, but if you had to I, sell I mean, it, I don't like this. Using my little. Using my if buddies. somebody out there is watching this and you see this beautiful, teenage-sized, very healthy yellow tang and would like to make an offer, <laughs> maybe we can twist Patrick's arm. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna say, if I was selling it, if it was in the shop and I was forced to sell it, I would say 400 Canadian-ish. So, just just throwing it out there. I think he's got enough radions. Ooh. We got one or two radions in here. It's a lot of radions. Oh yeah, even here, hanging from the ceiling. Check that out. These are old G1 radions. The best the ones, the ones that worked. <laughs> no, they're great. Oh man, check this out. Holy. The color, the size. Chicago oh. sunbursts. Wow. How many are there, three? Uh, four or five there right now, I think. Yeah. Massive. They're big, yeah. They're Massive. Very, very Massive. Yeah, button spoolie, but it's like splitting. Three of them. Three of them. That's usually we find these as a solitary LPS coral. You don't usually see three on three. Like that, yeah, right? I don't yeah. think I've ever seen three on one rock. That's that's pretty cool. I think they call them crocodile. Croc so, Island coral. Croc Island coral. Yeah. Island. Looks like he's doing very well with the goldenrod and acropora. Yeah, all the anacropora. And birds of paradise. Actually, if you have some of this, I would take some. We don't have with any cut up right now. Damn. We haven't made our frags yet. It's all birds' nests. One of the easiest SPS corals to grow out there. 
We got some little Pisilaporas. We got some uh, Acros over here. Yeah, check out this A10. Ooh, Pat's place is one of the only ones with white bottoms on the tanks, and it, it's just so different than basically anywhere else. So these are really looks on, on camera. It looks really cool. Really funky contrast, the white against the coral, because we're so used to seeing the black. Man, what is this? It takes it take. That's the Uber Day Glow. So you got like the purple in there with the pink, and so you got both colors in there. These are beautiful glow polyps. Some really nice plate corals. And That's diaceras. the Fungia Freyella, and then after that are some of the Diaceras. Right there. This is not ready for sale. It's okay. I'm going to do like they do with my CRV. Okay? I stole the car. I'm putting it in. It doesn't need anything to go back 10 minutes dealing this. Thank you very much, Maurizio. I know you like yeah. the acid drops. We don't have any of these in stock. We got lots of the red and orange. I'm gonna take one and I actually want this one right there with lots of white sort of speckled pattern. And it's showing off the bubbles really nicely. Do you know why bubble tips sometimes lose the bubbles? Not really. No, I'm not really sure why. I thought it was slow. But look, some of yours are more stringy. Yeah, some are more stringy. And they, they generally come in stringy and then they bubble out as when they've been here for a little bit. Because this Adone. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful carpet there. I'm gonna grab some of these while I'm here. So he always has the best selection of photosynthetic gorgonians. I really like adding these to the tank because it makes it look so um, reef-like. Is that the word I'm looking yeah, for? Yeah, lots of, lots of movement. I'm just Adds a lot natural. of really good height. Like look at this one height. here. Yeah, that's a beautiful right? one. Sea whip. And these are so, so easy to keep. You don't have to feed them. They're completely these, photosynthetic. These ones are non-photosynthetic. Don't buy these ones. Yeah. These ones are nice and easy. I'm gonna grab one of these grooved ones here. In my little pile. Let me go on the other side to show you that little pile. We, we have some big ones on the other side too. Let's see what he's got for fish. Uh, we haven't okay, even mystery touched on fish. Where oh, mystery. Where'd you get mystery ras? Mystery ras. It's a mystery. We might I haven't seen a mystery ras in a very long time. Oh, damn. Little baby mystery ras. No, I had one of these and she was from hell. They're jerks. They can be jerks. They can be, yeah, but they're so beautiful. Aren't these from Hawaii? Uh, yeah, I think so. But they but they end up in Philippines sometimes too. They swim far. Uh, not freakies? Nice puffers. Here you go, Merch. Oh, how freaky. Hello. Haven't seen these in a while either. Definitely need a top if you want to keep one of these. Dwarf lion fish. Anything else rare? Uh, I'm sure there is probably one of them. Oh, I don't mean to stress you out, Mr. Freckle Tang. Okay, I'll leave you alone. So this is kind of cool what he's done here. He's taken Frag Box's old frag tank. That's exactly what this is. From yeah. eight years ago. These were our original frag tanks. And I didn't know he was going to do this when I offered to him. I thought he was going to set him up with corals. Look how clever he is with some acrylic. And many, many hours on the router, he's turned, he's managed to take this 8 by 2 by 8 inch frag tank and turn it into a very large lots and lots and lots of cubes yeah large capacity holding system for look how many different fish you can keep awesome lots of work though involved in doing that huh oh an incredible amount yeah like routering it, routering routering gluing trina's dad did this one and then i did the other two over there there's two more like this and it was uh Not several fun. days of cutting on the table saw Sheep. look at these so cute little red ruby red scooters some chalk bass Long nose hawkfish. <laughs> Hello. This is our derpy puffer. Look, his face is sideways. Hello, derpy. It's on. It's on like a thirty oh, degree. Oh yeah. He's you see it? Derp. He's extra He's derp. He's a little bit derp there. Hello, derp derp. He Up. eats so much. Please, somebody take him. He's eating us out of house and home. <laughs> These guys are so cute. They are. They're so cute, and they can be so mean to each other. Sometimes, if you put them together, they'll be like together and happy, and everything is great. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden, if you don't feed them on time, they'll, one of them will bite everybody else's fins off. Like, they can be jerks, too. What a beautiful ras. The big one, yeah. Which ras is this? Oh, one of the blue filamented. Beautiful fish. Oh, my God. Image day. Beautiful the blue fish. Reef. Yeah. What kind of angel am I looking at? This is a big gray. See, guys, I'm always asking, because to be honest, I don't know that much about fish. Coral is really where... I um, put my energy and time, so fish I'm still learning.
Looking for some bang guys. There's some bang guys in here. That's a nice Catherine's rasp oh, right there. Yeah. Look at that. Nice Antheus. It's just so many fish, like rows and rows and rows of fish. Wow, check out the UV. What kind of UV? Ultra? Ultra, ultra Let's violet, go over yeah. there. Let's go ask him what he's doing because we're thinking about redoing our fish system. As you saw in the other video, we have one that's leaking. This is a really unusual one because their sump is four feet tall. Yeah, the sump's pretty big. Look, we got, we got actually a, we got has a stool. a stool to go up. So that you can see in. And this was an acrylic tank, like a display tank. Yep. At some point. Yep. Four feet by what? Uh, probably Three 30 feet? inches wide, maybe, and eight or nine feet Where long or so. Where the hell did this thing come from? It came out of somebody's house, and they were shutting it down, and uh, it had leaked and destroyed the floorboard, so they wanted it out when the new owners bought the place. And it's kind of been added on and added on and added on. So we have the aqua ultra violets here, um, so you can see the water actually goes up. A lot of people will actually mount the, the UVs this way, which is actually bad because you get an air pocket in here and that burns out the bulbs. Speaking about UVs. It has to go this way. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's the price when the UV goes wrong. <laughs> right? Was it one of these? It was a metal halide UV sterilizer. Okay. And it was that when we had the power surge, it also blew the circuitry board that should have shut it off when the flow shut off. Does a hobbyist need a UV sterilizer on their tank? What is your opinion? That's a good question. I mean, if you're going to have Achilles tanks and such, I think that would be a very good idea. A smart investment. If you're going to have all basic stuff, probably not. Yeah. And right? as a store selling Absolutely fish? Absolutely required. Absolutely required. Absolutely required. Look at the size of that skimmer. Is it on? Yeah. No, it's off right now. Just they're, they're in cleaning mode right now. And, and it, feeds in, it feeds into a nice bio tower. So th this is a big bio tower here going all the way down. So normally the skimmer is flowing into the bio tower and then we have probably, which is filled with marine pure blocks. There's a lot of blocks. And then in here, there's probably 50 to 80 marine pure blocks. Wow. So just And that's it, that's all the biological filtration. And then it's just filter socks again with our little clips. Right, the clips obviously broke off over there. We got a little clip on that. This system is running copper? Yep. Copper for ick? Yep. Always. Always. Wow. So and we get bigger cubes over here so that you can have big fish or big groups. And you're still expanding, right? Oh no, that's it. Oh yeah, you got one more row. Oh yeah, we got one more row to fill. This is this is this other side's all for inverts. Forever expanding. Jack! <laughs> Jack! <laughs> this is um their version of Diggs. Yeah, he's 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 a little bit old. Jack! I think he's confused right now. Oh Jack. Okay, we're gonna wrap up this one. I'm gonna keep shopping for a little bit longer. And if you saw anything in the video that you liked, and again, you live in Canada because we're in Canada and we only ship here um, domestically, unfortunately, you can always email us, fregboxcorals at gmail.com. I'm definitely taking this blue soldier crab with me because he's so cool. And we will see you guys back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV. Bye for now.